Enjoy this view of my beige keyboard. Nah, just kidding. Today we're gonna be looking at something special and I think that is something extremely rare and uh, odd. And that is a box from Macy's. <laughs> nah, just joking. The contents of it are special and by looking at the back it's a digital camera, you wouldn't guess it. Here we got a list of specs, like the CMOS sensor specs, the resolution is 640x480, wow. Built-in 64 megabyte of SD RAM for storage, built-in viewfinder, shutter 1 6 to 1 15 thousandths of a second, USB, and I don't know why is the mouse there. Should no single continuous automatic should PC camera video recorder 0 to 40 degrees Celsius and USB 1.1. Here we got some system requirements. Pentium 2 200 megabirds at least or surround 266, Exelon K6 200, 32 megabytes of RAM, 135 megabytes of disk space, USB port and CD-ROM drive. Operating systems are Windows 98 Second Edition, Millennium Edition 2000 XP, and Vista. I don't remember when I bought this camera, but I think it was like 2008 on my trip to America. Anyway, enough with this full, so let's look inside. Nice magnetic flap, by the way. And inside, it's your regular average Chinese camera. A USB cord for this stupidly small USB connector. Oh, it works extremely better if you dropped it on the floor beforehand. So this is it. Driver CD and the owner's manual. I have, I have to show you this broken English right here. If the battery power has been exhausted, the photos in the camera will be lost. Therefore, it is recommended to save all the photos to your computer at once when lower voltage the LCD is blinking. That means when the battery is low. <laughs> Double click on the setup.exe finished installation. Wow, it would be that easy to just click setup and finish. The photo quality may be poor when taking in low battery condition. So yeah, this battery is totally dead. If I take something like my toolbox for example, the photo quality is poor. And that's to be expected because the camera I'm recording this is from 2006. Coincidentally, the year when those Vista was released. No, in photos it shows the software, that looks pretty legit. And the specs again, and that's it. So, let's see this in action. Helping us today would be the our trusty Dell Latitude C600. And don't worry, part 2 is coming in a few days, sorry for the delay. So, we've got USB cord. Plug it in the back. Match though. Can reach the hole. God, I heard that so many times. <laughs> and it woke up from sleep because I pressed the control key. Now let's plug it in and. LED turns on and there is a counter. Let's try and take some sample pictures. There you go, saved instantly. That's the advantage of the flat memory camera.
there you go. I took four sample pictures. And now let's see what this has to offer. Windows 2000 it doesn't is on the supported list on the box and in the manual. And I and I don't think how can it work. USB digital steel camera. There you go. And yeah, as you can see, I've installed some more software for you to enjoy in part two. While this installs, let me drink some water. Wow, coincidentally, I drank water in the Live 2 CC100 part one as well as the computer was booting. And it's the same water. Yeah. Yeah, let's try swapping the module. Where's that CD? Oh, there it is, I found it. Floppy drive out. Whoa! Whoa! Calm down, Pentium 3! What's that fan noise? Even a Pentium 4 doesn't make that kind of noise. Come on. It has adequate cooling. Like this desk it isn't covered in something fluffy or something like a blanket so you can suck up air. Anyway. CD module in. Tray open. Now let's take the driver CD and insert it. This should work. It's even on the CD itself. It doesn't mention Windows 7 so that this is before 2009 but after 2006. Let me get the camera a bit Upper, there we go, much better. The camera still has the pictures, so that's a good thing. It still works after 10 years. And by the way, here's a shot of the viewfinder for you, just for you. It isn't the best viewfinder in the world, it's just a lens above the camera. Insert expletive word here. So there we go, we have found the disk. And now let's install the package setup. My DST2 setup. Whoa, this CD drive is one hell of an angry one. I don't know, I think this can also be used, no, it can be used as a normal storage device like USB flash. No, it needs the software to be installed on your computer. And by the way, let's, let's spoil the surprise and look at CPU-Z. Come on. What's the time? 117 p.m. That's a good thing. And it's Sunday. Sunday afternoon here spending time making videos. It's fun. But waiting for software to load isn't that fun.
It's loading. It's loading. It's loading. No, let's let's restart the computer later. I don't know why I'm whispering like that. Not that my throat is sore or anything like that. Router disassembly video coming shortly. Copper mine. Whoa, that's the intercom. I gotta go and answer this. Everything is sorted out. Let's dim the lights and reboot. All right, I'm back. Intercom call. <coughs> and whoa, check that out. Windows 2000 Professional almost starting up. Fully. Whoa, CD drive, damn. And wow, check that timing. Knowing the 2000 splash screen went out at 10 minutes counter on the camera. That's some precision right there. No, don't link back to the server shell because it's disconnected.
God, that's a long spine. But that's to be expected. The hard drive is only IDE, and it's almost filled to the brim with software. And I got some startup things like Yahoo Messenger, AIM, ICQ, and all that stuff. There you go. And there you go, we dropped a My DSC2 folder on the desktop. And I think I'm entering the store menu. Let's arrange the icons by type. And then by name. That's from name. Whoa, that's um, bloatware there, don't describe it. That's how my laptop rolled by. That folder doesn't wanna let go of Microsoft Outlook. And there you go. And oh, PC cam, that's interesting. Let's take a look at my DSC2 first, because that's where our photos reside. There you go. I really should look in the instruction manual on how to use this got for second piece of software Yeah, my document sounds right. What? Oh, you gotta select it. I'm gonna answer it again? Come on. That's it. Now let's go to my documents and check out the photos. Wow! That's some image quality right there. Yeah! <laughs> this mess of a picture is um the lot to play you to send it will become So these photos were an absolute dud. Let's delete them. 
and delete them from the camera as well. Oh, I guess you can delete them by turning it off and on again. There you go. Yeah. So that's it. There are no photos in the camera. Let me take some more pictures. There is one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. So let's see. The true quality of the images. Select them all, save them. Photo, that's a creative title. And it's in the process of saving them, which takes like five seconds. There are four pictures. So yeah, that's premium quality for you right here. Something is really couple bit damaged inside, so picture quality isn't a test. So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. Oh wait, we gotta try the PC cam. This laptop even in its wildest dreams wouldn't think of having a webcam. So yeah, PC cam. And there you go. It's recording. Yay! That's glorious. 640 by 480. Look at the graininess, man. Damn, and the color artifact and God. Does the Apple logo at least look good? Yes, it does. What about the Dell logo? The Dell logo you can't even see. Yeah, the quality is crap. Even more crap than my actual camera. So I guess that's it for this camera, thank you for watching, it has been an interesting trip down and see you next time.